Will App Inventor apps ever run on the Apple iPhone or the iPad? Yes, they will. And that's because MIT has announced that a version of App Inventor will be released for Apple's iOS operating system probably in the spring of 2018. And what that means is you'll be able to run your App Inventor apps on the iPhone, the iPad, plus your Android devices such as smartphones and tablets. You can also help make this happen by making a donation to their effort. Go to appinventor.mit.edu and follow the links on the web page so that you can make a donation. Really encourage you to do that and let's make this happen. Here's some questions you may not have thought about. Did you know, for example, can you run an App Inventor app on Windows? Can you run one on Mac OS X? Well, the answer is actually surprising. Basically, you can by using something called an Android simulator, also sometimes referred to as an Android emulator. There are several Android emulators available for both Windows and Mac OS X. Uh, for an example that we're going to do right here, we're going to use the BlueStack software, which you can find here at www.bluestacks.com. They also have a version that runs on Mac OS X. For Mac OS X, you could use the BlueStacks version there, or for our demo, we're going to use one called the Nox App Player, and that one you can download from bignox.com, B-I-G-N-O-X.com. The steps you're going to have to go through to get this running, obviously you'll need to download and install the appropriate simulator on your computer. Then in the App Inventor console, what you'll want to do is to build your app but build it using the .apk build option and download that executable .apk file to your computer. For those that may not remember, APK is short for an Android package file. Go ahead and run the simulator application and then you'll load the APK file into the simulator to install it as a regular app in the simulator. Once you've done that, you can run your App Inventor app just like you'd run any other Android app except it will be running in a simulator on your Windows PC or your Mac OS X system. First thing we'll do is we'll use the build menu in the MIT App Inventor uh, interface and go ahead and save that to an APK file on our computer. Now, we'll go through the process of building the file, which I've sped up a little bit here because it may take a little bit longer than we want to wait. And then inside Chrome, you'll see that it will start to download the file and that will appear down at the lower left we'll go ahead and open the folder that that file is contained in and then that's the APK file that we'll use later on to load into BlueStack or Knox App Player. Here we see BlueStacks running on Windows. In order to install our app, we'll click on settings up at the upper left and then go down to the lower right where we'll find sort of a little icon that we refer to to specify the file that we wish to upload. And here we're uploading the file and installing it from the file that we created in App Inventor. Then we double click on it and go ahead and run it and we're now running our App Inventor app on